All right, so we're going to go ahead and set up the rest of our middleware. So the first middleware that we're going to set up is uh, we're going to set up the uh, body parser. So you don't actually have to install body parser because you can actually just use express.json. So let me show you. So we can go inside this create app function. And I'm going to go ahead and call app.use and pass in express.json. Okay, so this is important because when we want to make API requests to our server, by default, uh, it's not going to parse any request bodies into JSON. So you need to enable this middleware. If you're using URL encoded, you can just enable that by simply passing in express.url encoded. Okay, and if you want it to... Uh, if you wanted to parse it as text, you can just do app.use express.txt. But we're not going to go ahead and do that. Okay, it would just be express.txt like, like this, for example. Okay. All right, so that, that's pretty much easy. Okay, that, that's, that's done. So let's go ahead and set up cores. So cores this is going to be very important, especially since we're developing uh, locally right now. So our... Next.js app is going to be running on port 3000, but our API is going to be running on port 3001. So by default, those requests are going to be blocked because there are two different domains because they have different ports, right? So we're going to have to use cores to get rid of that, to get rid of that issue. So let's install cores. Okay. And let me also, uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. So I'm actually going to do this. Let me actually take, uh, let me actually do this. I'm going to create a new folder called utils and I'll create a file called create app.ts because I don't want to put everything inside the index file. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to export this function right over here. Okay. And let me go ahead and import everything that I need. Okay. Let me import routes as well. So that way everything just doesn't look cluttered. And like I said, it's better to have this done at the very beginning so you don't have to worry about going back and forth and changing it up later. Okay, so we'll export this function and we'll just import it inside index.ts and then it'll just do everything for us. Okay, all right, cool. So now that we have the, let me write a comment, enable uh, parsing middleware for requests. All right, so now let's go ahead and enable cores. So we'll go up top here. I'll import cores from cores. And we do need to install the uh, the types. So let's do that. So yarn add hyphen D at types slash cores. Okay, so that error should go away. And now we can do app.use cores. And this is just a function. Now we got to pass in some options. So we're going to pass in two properties. We'll pass in the origin, and this will just be HTTP local host port 3000, because that's the uh, URL that our Next.js application is running on. We're also going to set the credentials to true, so because we are going to be using sessions, cookies, and all that kind of stuff, so we need to make sure this is enabled. Okay, and that's pretty much it when it comes to setting up cores. Very, very, very simple and very straightforward. Okay. Now let's go ahead and set up sessions. Okay, so let me go into uh, let me go into Postman real quick, and I'm going to show you how this is going to work. Okay, so first let me go ahead and open up another tab or another pane, and let me go into this project, and I just want to run the I just want to run the project while we are installing dependencies, just so it's easier. Okay. So I'm going to run the app right now, and you're going to see that by default, when I visit the endpoints, we don't get any cookies, okay? So we're going to install Express Session, and you're going to see that we'll get a cookie back when we visit an endpoint. And the reason why Express Session is important for applications is because we need to keep track of the user's uh, authentication state and also what they're doing on our application. So that's why we need sessions. Okay, in case you're not familiar with all of these concepts, definitely check out my Express.js tutorial that I literally just created about like two, three weeks ago. Um, it's very helpful. I cover all the basics, including sessions, including authentication. So it'll definitely become very handy. So let's go ahead and install Express Session. So we do that by simply typing yarn add 
express session and we're going to install the types file the types package as well so we aren't add hyphen d at types express session okay and we're good to go so let's go ahead and import session from express session okay and to enable this or to you know set up this sets up we're going to call app.use we're going to pass in session and this is also a function and we can pass in options okay so for the options we're going to first pass in the secret this is mandatory this secret is used to encrypt uh the cookie and decrypt the cookie okay so we actually use the secret to get back the session id which is generated on the server side and used to know who the user is when they're logged in Okay, so whenever users log in, they'll have their own unique session ID. So this could literally just be any random string. So literally just, you know, make it whatever value you want. Doesn't really uh, matter. Okay, we're going to set two values, resave to false and save initialized to false. Now we're going to set up the store, but we'll do that later. Okay, let's go ahead and set one more property called cookie uh yeah cookie and the max age of this cookie you can set this to however long you want the cookies to live basically whatever whatever age this cookie is is how long your uh, how long the user will be able to stay logged in so for example if the max age is let's say uh let's say for example the max age is 60 seconds once that cookie expires the user will no longer be able to use that cookie it'll be first of all it'll be removed on the client side so on the browser or the or postman if, uh, if, if, for example, if you're making a request to Postman, it'll be removed. And then the server side will also invalidate that as well. I'm going to set this to, let's see, sets one minute. Multiply that minute by 60, which gives you an hour. Okay, multiply an hour by 24 to give you a day. And then multiply it by 7 to give you 7 days. Or you can just, like, literally combine this by just getting the actual value out. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's set this up. So I'm going to go and visit this API endpoint and you should see that uh, right now we aren't going to get a cookie by default and the reason why is because we have save uninitialized set to false if I restart the server and if I click send you're gonna see that I now get a cookie so the reason why I set save uninitialized to false is because by default uh, by default right when we have it set to false it's not going to generate a new session ID for the user unless the session object is modified and you want to have this set to false because this is going to help with your uh, login system. Okay, so you want to let Passport, which is the authentication library that we're going to use, you want to let Passport take care of modifying the session, which is how we're going to actually log the user in. So you don't. So you want to make sure that you let these two properties be set to false. Okay, and if I were to uh, make a request again, I'm not going to get any cookie at all unless if I were to modify the actual session object that is attached on the request object but don't worry so much about that for now yeah so uh we're gonna go ahead and end it here i'm not going to set up the session store i'll do that after we have our mongoose uh schemas and all of that stuff set up so i want to do it afterwards because it'll make a lot more sense okay so uh yeah that's going to be pretty much it in the next episode we're going to set up passport and we're going to set up uh, the serialized and deserialized user function and we also will need to set up the endpoints to actually get the user to log in with discord as well so we have a lot of stuff that we still have not done yet so let's go ahead and do that in the next episode so i will see you all in that video peace out